The following is a presentation of KRCC-TV. Visit krcc-tv.com. Welcome to this edition of an Inside Look at Sports. An inside look at sports takes a trip to Owensville, Kentucky and a look at Bluegrass Raceway. Pete Scalzo, I'm the owner here along with my wife Marie of uh, Bluegrass Raceway. Uh, we've owned the track uh, for just going on four years now and uh, recently moved from uh, Florida where we had a racetrack we sold and uh, now we've moved up to Lexington and we're concentrating on bluegrass. Uh, Bluegrass Raceway actually started in Nicholasville. There was a Bluegrass Raceway. Uh, they turned that into an industrial park. Uh, we weren't involved at all back then. And then about nine years, some local people uh, went ahead and built this track, Bluegrass Raceway, they called it. And a uh, great thing about where we are is I think uh, our location being visible from the highway is, uh, is second to none. It's a, it's a great asset for the facility. So we're a one-eighth mile track. Uh, there's quarter miles and there are eighth miles. This just happened to be built as an eighth mile. They didn't have the room for uh, a quarter because of the required uh, shutdown or slowdown area. And uh, we are IHRA sanctioned. We run uh, three basic, uh, well actually four classes. We have the junior dragsters, the kids that are just starting. We have sportsmen which almost look like street cars. Uh, we have our no box and then we have our top ET. Depending on the uh, car count, we had a guaranteed purse at the beginning of the season. Uh, unfortunately, because of the economy and unfortunately because of the gasoline, uh, now we've gone to a purse that's based on car count. So you're probably looking at, um, on a turnout like today, about 1,000 for the winner for uh, Top ET, and I believe it's uh, around 700 for the winner of our No Box. Uh, the Sportsman Top. Uh, prize was two hundred dollars and the juniors uh, they raced for trophies uh... you we've got cars today ohio indiana uh... west virginia that are just the plates that i have seen so uh... uh... it's um, uh, a location that we have it's perfect uh, getting cars out of Cincinnati uh, Huntington West Virginia Ashland so uh, they'll draw from four five states uh, we had to beat the heat here a couple of weeks ago which we've gotten national attention actually worldwide attention we were featured on the uh, travel channel and um, it was uh, Andrew Zimmern who has uh, uh, the bizarre foods they gave him a new show called bizarre world and uh, that that uh, has really uh, made us worldwide as far as what we do, uh, which is uh, not today, not on this type of a show today, but uh, our focus is uh, racetrack, not street, and uh, our Beat the Heat program, which we had a couple of weeks ago. We also had some uh, police officers out of Georgia, and uh, it was really something we're really proud of. Uh, it's something that uh, uh, has gotten the kids off the streets. Just in the Miami area alone, uh, we were able to uh, attack the illegal street drag racing by 63%. That's, that's huge. Because of the economy uh, and because of uh, the, a lot of folks that uh, 
just have more important things to do with their money than uh, go down a straight line and burn up their tires and fuel. Uh, we're diversifying here. We've got a beautiful uh, property visible from I-64 and uh, I'm in the process now of rebuilding the motocross track that's really in, uh, popular now with the kids. Uh, we've got a little go-kart track that we're completing. We also just put in a dual lane mud bog so uh, the four-wheel drive guys with the big pickup trucks they can go in that and also sand drag so we're trying to do a little bit of everything and uh, I found my experience I've been in the business uh, over 40 years uh, you you might get a, uh, a drag racer or drag race fan that wouldn't walk across the street see a motocross or and a motocross fan the same way so uh, we're trying to appeal to uh, all different types of people and uh, making this a multi-purpose facility <laughs> We'll be right back after this message. Thanks. You believe this guy? Are you trying to start a wildfire? Sorry. Pass the honey. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Can I help you, sir? Uh, found these over by the stairs. Okay, thank you. What are they? Love handles. Lots of people lose them taking the stairs instead of the escalator. The following is a presentation of KRCC-TV. Visit krcc-tv.com. Welcome back as an inside look at sports takes a look at the Bluegrass Raceway. Marie Muscati and I am the owner of Bluegrass Raceway. I got involved in the racing business because of my husband. He was a promoter for a lot of years. Found the track to Miami, and then we bought Bluegrass here in Kentucky, and uh, we bought another track in Tennessee. But Bluegrass is my baby. That's I love it here. It's a beautiful facility. Um, people are fabulous. It's a great sport. It's great family fun. So we enjoy it. The, the biggest differential of Bluegrass Raceway, it's the racist place. It's all of us. We don't own it. Everybody owns it. It's for the people of the communities that we serve and the racers and their families. Um, it's all of ours. It's, it's here for everybody to have a good time and enjoy each other and enjoy our families and do a little racing. <laughs> Michael Lynn, been racing this time, this time since 2005. Well, I started, a buddy of mine had a car in 2005, I came down with him. I helped him get one of his other cars ready and I raced it a couple times and got hooked again. And in 2006, I won the foot brake championship here. And in 2008, I runnered up in Super Pro and then last year I won the Top ET championship. What, uh, what makes you like this track? Uh, most of the people. And then the friends that we met down here, and the friends that, you know, I brought, there was a bunch of us from South Point. And you rent your spots here. You can, and then that's your spot. You don't have to worry about trying to find a spot. You got the same one every, you know, every week. And how, so often, how many times a year do you come down here? Almost every week. 
If it's not raining, last year I think we was down here almost every week. My wife supports me real good on it too, so it's... <laughs> Hopefully good. I run it up last week. I've had a little bit of trouble the first of the year. Very in and lost my hood a couple weeks ago and so hopefully we got it all fixed back. Name and where you from? Mike McDowell. I'm from Maysville, Kentucky. And how long have you been racing, Mike? I've been racing for about 30 years. And uh, tell me a little history of your racing. Well, I started out with the 65 Comet. Uh, I'm from Ashland, but I live in Maysville. I started out with 65 Comet. I uh, moved to Maysville and got out of it for a few years. And then I bought a 70 Maverick, I mean, I'm sorry, a 70 Mustang. And I uh, raced it for a while. Then I bought a, a 83 Capri. I lost it in a fire. And about 13 years ago, then I bought this 70 Maverick and I've had it ever since. Uh, I've, wrecked, I've wrecked it once and I had surgery on my knee. And then I had another boy driving it, and he's he's wrecked it. And I've just got it right back together. And this is the first time I've drove it uh, in three years. Now, how so often do you come here? I come here every weekend. Every weekend. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming to this track ever since it opened up. Okay. Uh, what do you like about this track? Oh, I like the people here. You can't beat the guys. There's not too many Fords come here, but all these Chevrolet guys, if I need something, they bend over backwards to help me. You can't find a better bunch of guys than what's right here. How do you think you'll do tonight? I hope I do well. I'm up six, seventh in points, and I hope I go several rounds. I hope to win it. Charles Bishop. Delaney Bishop. Okay. Tell me how long you've been uh, racing. Uh, family's been racing for 40 years. We've been racing probably five or six years with these cars. Uh, well, we started about five years ago and built this car last year and bought them to Junior and they've been anywhere from 13 seconds to now we got them down to 790s. Just something to do with the family, having fun. And how so often do y'all come down to this particular race? We come down here approximately every weekend. Yeah. What makes you like this race? Uh, we just like the people around here, and we like to come down and camp out, have fun with everybody. How do you think you all do tonight? How are we going to do tonight? Uh, we hope we do good. Anything else? Anything you want? for later on in races? Yeah, we hope to be here for the IHRA bracket finals. I'm Brian Keller, and I'm from Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, probably 20, over 20 years. Give me a little uh, history of your I started out with a little Mustang bracket, or Chevelle bracket car, and then switched over to Fords, and ended up with this. <laughs> uh, how so often do you come down here? Uh, this, this is actually the first time we've been here. Oh, yeah. Where do you usually race? Uh, some in West Virginia and Ohio. Uh, for the NOP series. Okay. How do you think you'll do tonight? Uh, I don't know. We've been having some problems, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully we got everything straightened out. And uh, anything in the future you're going to do? Uh, uh, well, later on, we're going to we're going to sell this car. We're going to build a small tire car, so we can run a lot more classes and stuff. back after this message.